Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy JR. Y'all boys know I'm back with another banger. And in this video, I have another player build for y'all boys. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can make Jamal Murray of the Denver Nuggets. Because let's be honest, he's been going absolutely crazy in the playoffs. And I feel like he's extremely underrated. He's a, you know, he just had a really good game six with the Denver Nuggets against the Utah Jazz to force a game seven. He dropped like 50 points going absolutely crazy. And as you guys know, I'm from Kentucky and he played one year with the University of Kentucky. However, as you guys can see by my hat collection, I'm a Louisville fan, which is a completely different college located in Kentucky, but they actually play each other whenever he played that one year for the Kentucky Wildcats. So yeah, man, it is dope to see him, you know, straight balling for the Denver Nuggets. So like I said, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make his player build and then make sure our boys drop a like, drop a sub. I'll be doing way more of these, you know, dribble tutorials, jump shot videos with my glitch videos. I'm telling you guys, we finna go crazy. So yeah, man, thank y'all boys so much for all the support. I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so look, we're about to make the most goaded Jamal Murray build possible and you guys let me know if you guys are planning on making this build let me know if you guys have any other builds that you guys or players that you guys would like for me to make as well so for jamal murray listen i know that he's a point guard for the different nuggets however you guys want to make him a shooting guard for this build video because we're trying to make the best build possible and whenever you make a shooting guard position for this pot chart you're going to be able to get more badges and i'll show you guys what i mean in one moment so he's right-handed and then his RL jersey number, I believe it is 27. All right, so for the pot chart, we are going to go playmaking and sharp shooting. Now, Jamal Murray, he's a really good shooter, really good dribbler, but he can also finish around the rim as well but he's not the greatest defender and then for the physicals we're gonna go speed um generally whenever you make a, a point guard build or any type of guard build on 2k you're gonna want to go with speed so now i'm gonna show you guys exactly how you guys want to balance the attributes look this is an extremely goaded build and i feel like this build resembles jamal murray extremely well because this build was, is going to give you the ability to finish around the rim decent um it's going to allow you to shoot extremely well off the dribble you got your playmaking badges, which again is going to allow you to, to speed boost. And we'll fix that 84 to where you'll get an 86. And then, you know, Jamal Murray's defense is just average. It's nothing too crazy, but you, you're still going to get five defensive, defensive badges. So this build is going to be able to do everything Jamal Murray does RL. Now, like I said, I know I made him a shooting guard, and I'm sure people will have something to say about that. But if you, if I were to make this build a, a point guard, I wouldn't be able to get six finishing badges or have five defensive badges. Like putting this build at shooting guard and making it this way just allows me to get more badges. So I'm trying to make you guys the best build possible, but also one that resembles Jamal Murray as well. So yeah, man, this build is goaded. I cannot lie. And then for the body shape, generally for Jamal Murray, he's like kind of a bigger guard to be honest. So for this build, I believe I'm going to go Defon just because I feel like that matches him the best. So Google has Jamal Murray listed at six foot four, and honestly, that's the perfect height anyway for this build. Generally, if you make a taller guard on NBA 2K21, you start to lose some attributes. So yeah, man. And now the the weight, we're just going to go all the way down just so you get as much speed as possible. If I were to use his RL weight, weight, then we're going to lose some speed, and it's really not worth it. So we're going to go that. Now the wingspan, this could be completely up to you, and again, like I said, Jamal Murray is like a longer guard, so generally his wingspan is going to be a little bit longer anyway, but for this build, right now we have an 85 ball handling, meaning we need an 86 to be able to momentum off rip, however, you still got a high three ball, decent finishing, basically everything you need, so really, you have two options based on what you want to do, but like I said, you can go all the way down, that's going to allow you to momentum off rip, but for me... I'm going to go all the way up to 83.3. It's going to give you a longer wingspan. It's going to help you play defense better. It's going to help you finish around the rim better. This build is going to get a 70 driving dunk whenever you get your plus four. So you'll have part dunks in the, you have part dunks. And then you'll get an 86 ball control off of just one assist or bucket or whenever you get, you know, to your 95. So yeah, man, um, this is a really good build. And like I said, I feel like it resembles Jamal Murray extremely well. So that's how I made it. 
and then for the takeover now i was kind of i didn't really know which one of these to pick for jamal murray because like i said he's an extremely good shooter but he also shoots off the dribble a lot but for me i feel like sharp shooter is a better you know takeover especially for jamal murray so that's what we went with so whenever you make this build it's going to come out as a playmaking shot creator and you guys see it you know shades of Devin booker bradley bill but i feel like they kind of have the same game as jamal murray as well plus you know these player you know resembles aren't exactly accurate <laughs> from this but yeah man that's my jamal jamal murray build let me know what you guys think all right so now i'm gonna show y'all boys the badges that I, that i would pick for this jamal murray build so for the finishing we're gonna go with gold uh silver contact finisher silver giant slayer and then silver slithery finisher and with these three badges on silver that's just going to allow you to finish around the paint a whole lot better and then for well, the shooting so what we're going to go with is hot zone hunter because that's one of the most op shooting badges on the game i'm telling you guys it will be the probably the best shooting badge right your center you gotta have that you guys know jamal murray shoots from anywhere and then dead eye, that's what you guys need whenever you you know you're you're shooting off the dribble you're pulling up in people's faces you gotta have dead eye. and then catching or and then you also want to have green machine too so that's a really important badge to have on this game so these are the you know four badges that you need to have whenever you make a shooting build so next for this build for jamal murray i would also put on difficult shots on hall of fame as well because you guys know he'd be shooting a lot of mid-range whenever he's not you know attacking the paint he'd be doing fades you know around the mid-range area so difficult shots is a really good badge to have as well and for this last upgrade i'm just going to put it on catch and shoot even though jamal murray is our primary ball handler but a lot of times they'll run like offset plays where he'll come off screens and stuff like that so catch and shoot is also a really good badge to have in general so that's what i would use for his badges and then for the playmaking um generally i mean you really you could really go with whatever you want but you guys always want to have handles for days hall of fame quick first step hall of fame those are generally the two badges that you guys need and then unpluggable i don't really know how well it's going to work but we're just going to put in a hall of fame just because you don't want to be getting ripped but last year it didn't really work that well and then i feel like dimer is always a really good badge to have as well and then for these last you know upgrades i put it on ankle breaker. here just because Jamal Murray, you know, does have really good handles and he do be catching ankles sometimes. So angle break is another really good, really good badge. And then bailout is also a badge that you really want to have, you know, just because it is a really good badge. And then for the defense, I would just put it on clamps and then we would do silver intimidator. So yeah, man, that's my Jamal Murray build with the badges as well. Again, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what player build I should do next. Thank y'all boys so much for the support. I'm out. Peace.